I am so happy today because it is once again prime day in our boat. If you can see behind me, we've got some plastic up protecting like the gel coat and other areas that we don't want to get overspray on. But today we are going to be focusing on the V-Birth and Bulkhead 5, which leads up into the galley. And of course, before we're ready, there is a lot of prep that went into it too. The first thing we had to do in preparation was to sweep and then vacuum all of our surfaces to get rid of the majority of dust and particles. So now that everything has been cleaned up, vacuumed, taped off, I'm going to take our Total Boat de-wax surface prep, give all of the surfaces a wipe, and then we'll be ready to mix up our high build primer. Oh man, wiping down that area was a job in itself. But now Matt is ready to mix up our high build primer. And I wanna go over just a second what we're doing there. It's a little bit of a change and also partially the reason why we haven't gone any further on our priming in a while. Because as you can see now, this is all grip instead of total boat. Yes, total boat. Unfortunately, they've had a manufacturing issue with their high build and aren't able to get it which we absolutely loved. It was awesome stuff. We filled really well, sanded really well. It was basically everything they wanted in a high build primer. But like I said, they let us know a while ago that it looks like there was a hiccup in the production and it was gonna be a while, months and months, and realized that it's probably not gonna come in anytime soon. So we got this from their parent company, which is Jamestown Distributing. Awesome people as well, um, same people actually. So we got a good deal on it and we decided to go with all grip for this stage. And what we do is we still have four gallons of the Total Boat High Build and we're saving that for the areas that we've already done. So we can do another layer of the same stuff. The all grip, we've got six gallons of it now. That's gonna go in the areas that we haven't sprayed previously, like what we're doing today. Yep. Yeah. Time to mask up because if this stuff is anything like the past stuff or really any paints or primers, it is potent and definitely gonna want to be protecting our lungs. Wait, so we're gonna try and go for 36 ounces. This time and it is a one to one ratio mix. So I've already uh, hit it with a drill. So got that going. It's all pre-mixed. Oh, this sucks. Yep, wait. Do we want to do it like we did before? We take all the cups and scoop it in. I don't know. Is that how we did it before? <laughs> we should actually just get one of those little pouring spouts. We really should. Um, Amazon wishes. But we don't have one. Just promises me this is the least messy. Messy. Well, it's much less messy than pouring right. a whole gallon and hoping for the best. I don't want to waste this stuff. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. Did you get close to 16 ounces? That was pretty close to 16 ounces. So that was part one, which is the eight off white base, and now this is the converter. Oh, this is like, wow. Oh. Well, there's gonna be no uh, denying which is which on. On the walls. Yep. Got that mixed well, give it the induction time of 15 minutes, and then we can load up our gun and get ready to spray. I'm really excited to see how the V-Birth is gonna look all in color. It made such a huge difference to the salon when we did it a few months ago. We're getting there. <laughs> now that we have waited the time, we're going to add the reducer at what percentage is it? Uh, we're getting close to 20. 20%, so. so you can use 10 to 20%, we're going 20. 20. Smooth application, so. Well, yeah, and I'm horrible at spring, so. <laughs> Every little Six bit I can ounces. help. Is. Thinner than the other stuff, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Now just doing some test sprays to calibrate the gun right. 
and then I'll be ready to go. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up, I always do. I never think, I always do. Never thought I would jump, oh, what a fool. We are about halfway through the project now and boy can we tell the difference so far between the all grip and the total boat. The total boat was fairly thick when you put in the second component, the hardener, it was really like sludgy. This stuff is a lot lighter and of course we had thinned it at 20% about the highest you can go. So it did come out a lot thinner than we were expecting. Now we're getting ready to move on to bulkhead five here and then also just the little area once you come down the steps. So we're about to mix up a new batch and I think this we're just gonna catalyze at 10%. So get that going, give it 15 minutes. I still have to do de-waxer on the surface. Gotta get my mask on. Let's go. We happened to be lucky enough that day that Colby was in the yard and eagerly came over to see why our gun didn't seem to be spraying smoothly. He made a few adjustments and let Matt get back to work. When the same issue seemed to be coming up again, we handed the gun back to Colby to try. It is kind of uh, flattering. Yeah. I don't know if I'm running out or something. You, you are, I think, running it's out. It's not spraying like it was huh. when we first. When we did it the other well, side? You know, when we went over here? Yeah. After more calibrations to the gun, Colby continued to try and get rid of the splattering, but definitely noticed the gun was not performing to the same quality as the last time he'd helped us. Yeah, it's definitely a rougher appearance than what you were doing before. Yep. Yeah. Ta-da, finished product. We let it sit overnight and then the next day too, just to make sure that all of the tack Hopefully it's gone, it's dried up. Matt is about to come in right now while I am out grocery shopping because he's gonna make a huge mess and he's gonna start sanding down this. We are using Colby's DA sander now that he's brought the compressor back over. So we're gonna start it with 80 grit, that's what Colby recommends, and just kind of see how that goes. So hopefully we'll be able to find out if there still are any low spots, if they need to be hit again, and then we can do another coat maybe in the next few days. Matt hit it there with black sander. ran out of gas in the uh, the air compressor, so I was wondering why it was going slow and slow and slow. The other thing 
you can kind of see how rough of a texture sprayed. Unfortunately, something acted up with my gun, even Colby when he came in here. This is the, actually the area that he sprayed, and you can see it's taken a lot more to grind that down and get that to a, a smooth finish than what I really want to. So we're creating more dust and wasting more product that way, but that's okay. I mean, it's primer. We're getting a feel for it. It's different stuff than we've used previously. I'll just keep attacking it, get it smooth, and then we'll spray another coat. Colby's loaning me his gun, which is a pressure pot and a little bit easier to use because I can fill the whole thing up and just go. So I'll probably do that in the next day or two and get a second coat on this. And I hope that's it. Um, there are some spots. So if you take a look, I've already sanded this into here and you can see how this hasn't been touched at all which indicates to me then that that is a low spot. When I sanded it to, to get that cove in there, I ended up over sanding it, so I'm gonna have to go through and actually add some filler in that area. But yeah, I'll just keep working, see what happens. Matt started to get on film a little bit yesterday when he was sanding, but of course, sanding such a big area is gonna kick up a ton of dust, especially working with that DA sander. So kind of put the camera away, but let's check out the end results of the first sanding with a power sander before Matt goes back and blocks it this morning. On um, bulkhead five here, it looks like we actually did a pretty good job of initially fairing it because not much has come off to go back down to the um, fairing compound meaning that most of the low spots had already been filled. You can see got back down to it a little bit here and here. And of course on the outboard portion where we have this line that we have to deal with, you can tell that it hasn't really sanded off. That's something that Matt's gonna block, but yeah, it looks like this one wasn't quite fared out well and we didn't know how it was gonna turn out. So a lot of that primer did come off here. And then we have the V-Birth, which was the dustiest mess last night. I came in to clean it up for Matt before I left for the day and so, so much dust we just collected off. So I think a lot of this did get sanded off. Although for a first round of the high build primer, I think it looks pretty good in here. The steps we believe here that we're going to use the same component on the floor, so we haven't really done those. Not worried about that, but the inner bulkhead looks here, the chamfered panel, which is the original curve of the hull. And the forward bulkhead leading to the bed. So we will let Matt get to blocking and see what needs to get filled later. And if we do get to that point, we will show you how we're switching over to a different fairing compound and why. Now back on to hand sanding, the areas of corners that we couldn't get in with the DA. So just, just the detail type of stuff. And trying to get back this line. I don't know if we're gonna be successful. It was wavier than what I really wanted it to be. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen there. It's driving me absolutely crazy. But we'll just keep attacking it. But again, you can see the corners and stuff. I still need to go through and hit those, get those things prepped but we're getting close that we actually can probably spray another layer of uh, primer on this. This stuff does not sand as well as with the Total Boat. The Total Boat stuff was just like butter. It was perfect, it sanded so well. This, after a day or two, it hardens up quite a bit more and it's a little more difficult to sand. So I'm not loving it as much, but it is what it is. Hopefully Total Boat gets the stuff back. Get on it, Total Boat. Yeah, get on it, Total Come get on. Get together. Jeez, guys. Now just going through and touching up some of the things that I did. <laughs> they're, they're my mistakes. 
So using the inline sander, uh, this direction, it's basically the, the front of the inline sander. So now I've got little chips out of there that I need to fill. Now, the fact that this is an epoxy uh, fairing compound or that high build that we applied on there, we are now on to epoxy stuff. Any of the things that we apply after this point have to be that. We have tried adhering some of the polyester stuff and it kind of pops right out. Round to that, we are using the Total Boat Total Fair again. Um, had great success with it before. So I'm gonna mix up a little bit of that, just a little glob and go around and fill in those little spots. And then I'll go through and sand the remaining, the few of the remaining spots and get ready to put on a second layer of that high build. It's starting to look okay though, a little bit better. So you can still see the green where I got down into the fiberglass again. That was some um, high spots, obviously. A little bit of the white popped through, but I'm actually impressed how well it's done. Basically, there's a few high spots, a few low spots, but it's actually a much better surface than what I anticipated, which is awesome. going too crazy with filling this because again I'm going to be spraying high build uh, tomorrow on it but here's another area I'm trying to make it so I have to sand as little as possible because I know any sanding I do is going to make it worse yeah a lot of imperfections but again first first stage trusted Matt with a camera for the past day and a half as he's worked in here and he promised me that he did get some footage of himself blocking and of him working with the epoxy fairing compound from Total Boat since we now are working with an epoxy based primer and so hopefully he got that footage because it is time for me to take this card finish editing this episode and get it uploaded tonight so unfortunately that is all we can get to you right now about the progress of this area I can see where Matt has gone through with some of that epoxy fairing compound, applying it to a couple of edges. So I'm assuming he's going to let that dry, sand it tonight, and then hopefully tomorrow we will go back for another round of primer. But I guess that will be in next week's episode. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. Japan.